Thousands of ancient temples dot the landscape of this valley in Myanmar, also known as Burma. The temples of Bagan have stood since the 11th century, but they're in an earthquake zone and in danger of destruction. If we lose these sites now, we're losing our cultural memory, um, and SIARC is trying to prevent that. That's why we exist. It's creating a 3D digital archive of the world's cultural heritage. There was about 10,000 temples at the height. Today, about 2,300 of the temples still stand. That's Scott Lee, director of programs at SciArc, a cyber archive that seeks to digitally preserve the world's heritage sites. The real amazing part of that was the inside. And when you walk into this temple, it's completely dark inside. Your eyes adjust and you start seeing this, these images. Sayark visited Bagan in June of 2016 to document some of the temples. And it was just in time. In August 2016... Bagan had a monumental earthquake, a 6.8, that, that damaged. Um, the initial assessment is 453 temples. Some of the, the most tragic parts of the footage we've seen is the loss of these original plasters, which are just amazing detail, um, have essentially just fallen off the face of the buildings. The community depends on tourism at the unique site for its livelihood. After the earthquake, SIARC returned to help the government with the rehabilitation effort. We try to work from sunup to sundown, all by working in, you know, 80 plus degree weather and 80 plus percent humidity. The deck of the roof was probably, I would say, approaching 180 degrees, which was challenging at times because um, all these temples you must enter barefoot. When the team visits a site, they use a combination of photo and scanning methods to capture the details of a building. After disaster, they can use algorithms to analyze structures that might not look damaged to the eye, but are actually leaning or vulnerable. We start with drones which capture the landscape at a certain level of detail. Then, they use laser scanning to document the facades and interiors of the buildings. This machine bounces a laser off the walls and records an XYZ coordinate, like a laser radar. And we get an accuracy of about 5 millimeters. Photos from a DSLR camera on the ground and a drone in the air document small 3D features like texture. And if we need a, a greater level of detail, we use a technology called structured light scanning. This handheld scanner flashes a grid of light on a sculpture or small object, then reads the distortion of that pattern as it comes back to record the object's shape. Perfect. Good job. What we can do is scan a sculpture that's been damaged, 3D print that portion, um, bring that to an artist, and have them go in with plaster and, and rehabilitate it. This is one of the first times that SIRC has been able to utilize data that we've had in our archive and deploy it in an emergency um, situation, you know, just a couple weeks after this disaster occurred, and training the government to work with it to really help the rebuilding efforts and bring it back to, the, to its glory. For Scientific American, I'm Lydia Chain.